Hi, uh, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, lunch specialization talk uh, for uh, risk management and insurance. I'm very excited uh, to uh, share some uh, new update uh, of uh, risk management insurance program. So uh, at the end of the presentation, you will see some are uh, you know very useful uh, information about this uh, specialization, and I hope you are interested in you know, joining us, right? And then uh, my name is Shinichi Kamiya from uh, Division of Banking Finance. And uh, uh, so I'm pleased to uh, announce that our new uh, RMI program, and then our program, you know, that uh, RMI program exists for uh, several years already, but uh, we have new and then innovative uh, curriculum, which is quite different from that existing ones. And then if you get information from a senior student, or maybe you get information from a public uh, uh, university website, then that uh, my information uh, today is quite different and updated information, which is not really available in the public yet. So uh, you see some big uh, difference, okay? And uh, existing one and a new one. So um, that is uh, the first part of my presentation. And then, as a part of uh, curriculum, we also will introduce that uh, work study program, which is not mandatory for everybody. And uh, in that sense, it's different from other program, but uh, it's optional. So for those who are interested in uh, extended period internship and then to kickstart their uh, your uh, professional career, then that will be the definitely uh, your choice. Okay. And then uh, you may be, of course, uh, interested in a job, what job available for uh, you when you, you graduate that, that RMI program. And then at the end, I also want to highlight you know, how this uh, new RMI program is different from, uh, for instance, a main track uh, banking finance uh, program or actuarial science program, okay? And then I will, also, I will provide some uh, answers to the typical questions I have been asked from students. Okay? So let me start uh, from that uh, our new uh, innovative uh, unique curriculum. Okay? And then let me just uh, highlight the key point of the new RMI program. We have two pillars. Okay? The first one is that the financial risk management. Okay? And then our curriculum courses, modules focus on you know, aim to cover 100% of the GAF financial risk manager exam part one syllabus. So that successfully completing a pro the program, you are fully ready to take that uh, GAF financial risk manager exam part one, okay? I will explain that, that examination uh, professional qualification a little bit more in detail later, but that is that the first part of that uh, our uh, curriculum. And then additional course also will cover 20% of uh, exam part two as well. So that that will also uh, gives you the good preparation for that, that uh, exam part two as well. And then another pillar of that new curriculum is that the data analytics, okay? And then that will of course, you know, uh, that, that some are very important st statistical skills you will uh, uh, get. And then for, probably you may have heard about predictive modeling, machine learning, deep learning, and uh, these keywords, you know, these uh, techniques uh, you can uh, learn from that uh, courses in that uh, data analytics. But uh, the data analytics part also focus on financial risks, okay? That is actually quite different from you know, business analytics and other uh, data, analytic, data analytics courses available uh, in our, not only in our school, but outside of school, okay? So let me just uh, quickly explain that what is the GAP. Probably you, you don't really know about the GAP and a financial risk manager uh, certificate. So let me just uh, go through a bit about this, okay? Uh, this is just a screenshot uh, from the GAP website. And then, uh, as you see here, uh, we are the world's uh, leading professional organi organization for uh, risk professional, okay? And then they actually offer several 
uh, certificate. One is that the financial risk management, it may be too small for you to see, but uh, FRM is the one uh, we actually aim uh, to cover. But another one is the energy related certificate. And the third one is that the climate uh, sustainability and the climate change, climate risk. Okay? But our primary focus is this, the first one, a financial risk uh, managers, okay? uh, which is a gro global standard for financial risk. Okay? So that actually quite known in the financial industry. Okay? And what is uh, FRM? Okay, and a global standard, as I said, and then you find this page uh, for uh, after you, if you click this uh, tag, uh, FRM. Okay, and then the, there's an exam. To, to get the certificate, you need to pass two exams, okay? The part one and the part two, okay? We will uh, focus on cover part one. Okay? Actually, we cover 100% of the syllabus in the part one, uh, exam part one, okay? So it may be too small, but the part one is a 100 uh, MCQ uh, examination, and uh, you can actually take the exam, uh, the computer-based uh, testing uh, uh, center. And then also, if once you pass the part one, then uh, you also take that part two. Our module also cover up the 20% of part two as well, okay? So that uh, you can actually start preparation uh, for the part two exam as well. Right. And here's the uh, information again that uh, from the website, what's the pass rate, okay? What, what's that, the difficulty of the exam? You see uh, the part one, uh, exam part one is actually the 45.9% and then part two is that the 58.6% more uh, in the most recent exam, okay? So it seems not really challenging because that about half of that, you know, uh, applicants will pass. Um, but at the same time, okay, this is also the statement provided by the website. And what they tell us is that, you know, this particular certificate is actually comparable with that uh, master uh, degree level. For instance, in the first, you see that the U, it's related to, it's equivalent to the American master degree standard. And also you can find Singapore, okay. Singaporean master's uh, degree standard. So that actually, uh, that the applicants to this certificate are more, mostly like a master degree students, okay? Not really that uh, bachelor degree students. So in the sense, it's actually not really easy exam. And then that, uh, so getting this qualification is still quite challenging for a uh, bachelor degree uh, student. Okay, and that is the first part, first pillar uh, uh, of the, our curriculum, okay? Financial risk management, okay? So that uh, after you successfully complete the program, you will be, be the expert of the financial risk management, okay? The second part is actually that the data analytics, as I mentioned, which cover that the predictive modeling, machine learning, deep learning, so that the, you becomes that the expert of data analytics, okay? But uh, again, the focus is on the risk management, okay? A little bit more detail about our curriculum, okay? On the left-hand side, I just listed the courses offered in our RMI program, okay? And uh, we have here the five uh, FRM-related courses, which is actually, which cover uh, our uh, FRM exam, okay? Uh, you see the foundation of risk management, quantitative analysis, uh, financial markets and product, and a variation in risk models, and a financial uh, operation of risk and resiliency. Okay? And then on the right hand side, actually, I listed the topics covered by the examination, professional examination, FRM. You see uh, foundation of risk management, 20%, quantitative analysis, 20%, Financial market product, 30%, and variation of risk model, 30%. And the last one is actually that, that one of the topic covered in the part two exam, uh, operation of risk and resiliency. My point here is that you see exact same topics, exact the same titles, okay, between the courses we will offer and then the titles actually the covered in that exam. 
that should make you comfortable you know, in the preparation of the FRM exam because we will fully cover those topics, okay? At least that this part one, exam part one, and also 20% of uh, part two, okay? And the second component is the financial risk analytics courses, okay? The course title itself that, uh, themselves doesn't really tell us that the, what the, the course content because it's just a financial and a risk analytics one, two. But as I mentioned, these will cover uh, topics, something like data analytics thinking, starting from that uh, data analytics thinking, but we also cover the predictive modeling, predictive analysis, uh, some uh, advanced topics, tree-based models, neural networks, and then machine learning, deep learning, those kind of stuff will be covered by the components that courses are covered in that uh, uh, financial risk analytics, okay? So we have, at one hand, you have financial risk uh, management skill set, and on the other hand, you have a data analytics. By combining together, uh, you will be uh, very competitive in the job market. And then that uh, uh, we believe that uh, very strong demand for that talent. And a little bit more about the uh, curriculum. Here is about the requirement, okay? What we require you is that uh, you need to uh, complete six core courses. So in that sense, you know, uh, we have a relatively tight and a solid uh, coursework requirement because that everybody need to finish these six courses, okay? And then you can choose one uh, prescribed elective from that uh, list of these courses. Okay. So particularly in the first semester, okay, in year two, you need to take two courses, foundations of risk management and then quantitative analysis. The first one will cover the basic stuff of risk management and then our financial risk, that are uh, uh, financial economics, okay? And the second one uh, covers basic uh, statistical techniques such as regressions and then time series, okay? And then in the second semester, you need to uh, complete two courses, uh, financial markets and product, and then financial risk analytics one, okay? Again, one from financial risk management, one from a uh, quantitative uh, subject, okay? So in the first year, I mean that year two, you need to complete uh, four courses, and then in the year three, you have one course in the semester one, variation and risk models, which is a little bit more advanced, like risk measures, uh, option pricing model. And then um, and in, the, in the semester two, you need to take that the financial and then risk analytics two, okay, advanced cost for uh, statistical analysis, okay? So these are, are required for everybody, okay? You need to uh, finish everything. And then you can choose that the, uh, one, pres uh, one a course from the prescribed electives, okay? And then the one, actually that the first one is, as I mentioned, which is also, which covered a 20% of uh, exam part two of the FRM, operational risk and resiliency, okay? So if you want to start preparation for exam part two, uh, this will be that uh, 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 of your interest. Or, or you may take some FinTech, FinTech course from that banking finance. Or we may also, we offer the computing, uh, which is more tightly related to that the insurance risk management practice. And then there's also some insurance courses available, okay? Especially if, uh, for those who are interested in a work study uh, program, uh, you may be interested in taking the uh, insurance practice because this actually that uh, cover basic stuff, you know, basic knowledge of insurance, uh, both life side, general insurance side. Okay, so you can learn what is the insurance industry look like. Okay. Uh, let me also explain that the work study uh, scheme uh, we will introduce. Okay, and again, I just want to emphasize that this is not the mandatory for uh, RMI student. This is optional. Okay, so for those who are strongly interested in insurance industry or for those who want to start the career development earlier than other student, uh, this would be the choice. Because uh, this would be the, uh, gives you the opportunity to work uh, for the indus industry for 35 week full time.
okay, uh, intern in the insurance company. We have a list of insurance company who are willing to accept our student. So you apply for the internship and then you will start at the end of the second year in May and then until the end of the year, until December. So that will cover 35 week long uh, internship. So the basically that uh, the semester one of year three will be actually allocated to this work study uh, scheme if you join this uh, program. And again, this is a fast track career development in the insurance industry. And, and also you may get job offer after uh, completing this internship, okay? So uh, better chance for job security. And then this is the only scheme are in Singapore uh, because of the, our uh, close relationship with the, the insurance industry. And uh, we also are happy to provide a financial support uh, if you join this uh, work study scheme and then study for uh, insurance uh, certificate, okay, uh, offered by the Singapore College of Insurance. Okay, they offer actually a bunch of uh, uh, certificate uh, the, for the profession working in the insurance industry. And then uh, uh, if you try this uh, certificate, uh, we are happy to support uh, your study. Uh, of course, you know, getting certificate makes you more uh, competitive in the market, okay? Actually, there are more options. And uh, here, uh, as you may uh, uh, see, the GAF have a three uh, certificate they are now currently offering. And then one of uh, them is the called uh, sustainability and then climate risk, okay? A certificate. And then I may encourage students uh, to take the minor in that the uh, environmental sustainability offered at the Asian School of the Environment. Okay. And uh, these course, exposure to these courses actually will be uh, quite good uh, preparation for uh, taking this certificate. Okay. And then uh, you see, you can find this page on uh, GAP website, uh, Sustainability and Climate uh, Risk Certificate. Okay. Um, as you also already know that you know, sustainability, climate change, these are quite important topic, has been important topic for uh, not only like a financial sector investing, but also in the general business environment. So getting this certificate uh, makes you uh, uh, more competitive, okay? All right. So the next topic uh, I just want to uh, explain uh, is that the job, okay? Uh, Certainly, that this is one of your interests. And what jobs are available in the market? And uh, the main employer should be the financial institutions, uh, banks, and then insurance companies. Uh, of course, you know you can find a lot of banks in the Singapore: DBS, H uh, DBS, OCBC, UOB, uh, JP Morgan, Bank of America, uh, HSBC, for instance. And then uh, insurance companies. Of course, if you join the work study program, uh, insurance company may be the primary choice because that you have already a uh, good experience and the good exposure to that uh, insurance uh, business, right? And AI, Abiba, uh, AXA, Tokyo Marine, and then a lot of insurance companies uh, has office in Singapore. So uh, these could be that uh, major uh, employer cost. And uh, cause the, because of your data analytics uh, skill set, you may be interested in joining that uh, consulting firm, KPMG, K, KPMG uh, PwC, uh, EY, Deloitte, you know. Those has that consulting arm, especially focusing on the data analytics, okay, uh, for financial industries. And then, or maybe you, you join that uh, financial uh, risk management uh, division of business, uh, general business companies, or maybe you are interested in like a startup, uh, fintech, uh, insuratech. And then for those who are actually considering that uh, uh, double major with that uh, entrepreneurship, and uh, this is actually quite relevant to us, okay? Cause that we have very specific skill set of financial risk management. And then we have uh, also, you have uh, um, data analytics and then if you have some mindset as an entrepreneurship, you should be able to have, you know, find a good opportunity to start some new business in fintech and then insurtech part, okay? 
So uh, this will be a quite interesting area and, and for, for you. And a starting salary in the financial institutions is uh, expected to range at 50K to 80K, depending on that uh, 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 companies. But um, this is not really just I, you know, came up from my head. Actually, I found that uh, many opportunities, uh, job, uh, job openings uh, we can find uh, in uh, LinkedIn, for instance, if you have, if you access to LinkedIn and then just type FRM, then that you should be able to find more than 100. Um, yesterday, actually, I searched, but I found about 150 job uh, posted, which actually have a preference of FRM. For those who have FRM certificate, is actually preferred in a job. Okay, and then typically those jobs are data analytics are like. A, credit risk analyst, for instance, and like uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, JP Morgan, Bank of America, and HSBC also I found, and some energy companies, ExxonMobil, and then uh, BP also has posted, and some also local farms also posted, and uh, job, job description or uh, qualification actually mentioned about FRM certificate, okay? All right. And then uh, here I just want to uh, respond to some typical questions I have been asked from students. And uh, the first one is that uh, um, uh, this uh, new RMI course is highly uh, quantitative, okay? And then uh, my quick answer is yes, because that uh, half of the course is actually that uh, are related to statistics, okay? If you don't like data, uh, if you don't like statistics, probably you have a difficult time to complete courses, okay? So I would say that uh, this new RMI is actually more quantitative than a usual business subject, something, uh, for instance, a main uh, banking finance uh, track, okay? Because at least in the uh, main banking finance track, you can avoid quantitative subject, but uh, for us, uh, there's no such freedom. You, you need to complete three stat, uh, statistics-related courses, okay? But uh, RMI is actually less uh, quantitative uh, than the actual science uh, program, okay? So that is sort of fair statement about the quantitativeness of that uh, our program, so in between other program and actual science, okay? And then uh, our uh, RMI program requires only basic math and then program, uh, programming uh, skills. And then, but uh, most importantly, uh, you need to be interested in financial risk management and uh, data analytics because our focus is quite uh, narrow, okay? We actually expect the student to take our financial risk manager's uh, exam because the that our preparation is basically to, we actually, our courses will actually cover 100% of their syllabus. So we actually expect the student to take the exam, okay? At the same time, student are, we expect the student likes dealing with data, okay? Get something, get implication from data. That is, you know, the, so student uh, should be interested in uh, data analysis, okay? So that is actually more important uh, 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 when you think about uh, joining the, the RMI program, okay? And the next uh, question is that, uh, does the new RMI offer uh, RMI, uh, sorry, uh, FRM exam exemption? The answer is no, okay? We do not uh, offer uh, exem exemption, okay? because that uh, uh, GAAP does not offer uh, exam exemption to universities, okay? But uh, we are confident that when you successfully complete courses, then you should be fully ready to take uh, exam part one, okay? And then you can also start preparation for exam part two uh, as well, right? And the uh, next question is, how is the new RMI uh, program different from that uh, uh, banking finance major with the business analytics courses, okay? 
So you may be thinking that you may probably choose the banking finance and then take some uh, data, business analytics courses. Uh, uh, so that is somehow related to our uh, program. But uh, again, our focus is that uh, financial risk management so that uh, to make, uh, to cover the R FRM exam uh, syllabus, okay? So that is the target. We have very specific target so that we expect you to uh, take the exam even before uh, graduating, the pro completing the program, okay? And then analytics part, data analytics is also our focus is actually on the application to uh, financial risk management, risk management overall, okay? We do not really uh, cover general business uh, use uh, of data analytics, okay? So um, we have very specific uh, focus. In that sense, it's quite different from that banking finance major with business analytics. And uh, we have very uh, well and then tight uh, curriculum as well. And the next question is, how is that new RMI program different from actuarial science program, okay? And this is also quite often asked uh, questions, okay? And then, uh, again, in, ter in terms of quantitativeness, you know, uh, actuarial science is uh, more uh, quantitative than uh, RMI, but uh, uh, actuarial science is uh, accredited by IFOA, uh, UK uh, professional body of actuary, and the uh, actuarial science program will cover that uh, uh, courses, uh, uh, topics uh, of actuarial examinations, okay? So if you are interested in that particular professional qualification, uh, you should join the actuarial science program. But our program actually aims to cover the topics for FRM exam. So if you are interested in the financial risk management certificate, okay, or the, and also the data analytics, this is that RMI, the RMI program is the course for IU, okay? All right, uh, that's actually all for my uh, presentation uh, about the new, okay, uh, RM, RMI program. So, as you probably uh, noticed that, that the, my explanation about RMI is quite different from that uh, 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 RMA program uh, information you can find in that uh, uh, the university website, or maybe that the information from senior student. So if you have any other question, any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, contact me. Uh, this is my email address, and uh, uh, I'm happy to respond to your questions uh, as soon as possible. Okay. And uh, I have also, also added some uh, the details about course content, but uh, it may be too much, so I don't really go through uh, now. So, um, but uh, from 6.30 uh, p.m., uh, we have a mock uh, seminar of this uh, RMAP uh, one more course. Uh, I will uh, cover the uh, foundation of risk management, so that the basic step of the risk management are. Uh, uh, from 6.30 p.m. So I hope uh, you join the uh, seminar and then the get feel of, you know, what is that, that this new RM uh, looks like, okay? And that's all for my uh, specialization talk. And then thank you so much for joining us. And then uh, see you later. Bye.